News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a man is arrested following a high-speed chase. A deputy says he was forced to kill a resident's dog. And Tractor Supply is headed for Pahrump. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Friday, April 14th, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Deputies with the Nye County Sheriff's Office were led on a high-speed car chase on the north side of Pahrump today. Nye County Sheriff's deputies were led on a high-speed car chase this afternoon, traveling south on Highway 160 from Roadrunner. The vehicle in question ended up on Bell Vista and then on Blagg Road. They were off-roading at several points during the car chase, and deputies attempted to dispatch stop sticks to take out the vehicle's tires during the chase. Speeds were in excess of 100 miles an hour at times during the chase, which ended in front of the dairy on Blagg Road in a felony stop. At least two dogs were inside the car with the man who was taken into custody and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. The reason for the failure to yield is under the investigation of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And the owner of a dog that was killed by a deputy says it was unjustified. The animal's owner did not want to go on camera, but is understandably upset about the loss of his beloved pet. He told News 46 that he might sue. News 46 received a press release regarding the incident from Nye County. A dog has died the result of a gunshot wound. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office press release, on April 10th, at approximately 4.23 in the afternoon, the Nye County Sheriff's Office received a call from a residential alarm company advising that several panic alarms have been activated within a short amount of time at a residence in the 2000 block of West R Road here in Perum. A Nye County Sheriff's Office deputy was dispatched and responded immediately to handle what is considered an emergency situation. Upon arriving, the deputy entered the fence property and approached the residence in order to come to the assistance of the home's occupants. As the deputy knocked on the door, the residence dog suddenly charged the deputy, according to police, from another location on the property and attempted to attack him. Fearing for his safety and due to the rapidly evolving threat from the aggressive animal, the deputy drew his firearm and discharged it at the dog to protect himself. As a result, the animal sustained a severe gunshot injury and immediately ended the threat to the deputy's safety. At that point, the resident exited his home and made contact with the deputy. The subsequent investigation revealed that multiple panic alarms had been falsely activated within the home and no actual emergency existed. Additionally, the property did not have any posted warning signs for an aggressive dog. The deputy was not injured in the incident, a Nye County Animal Control Officer responded and rushed the injured pit bull mix to a local veterinary clinic where it was euthanized due to the severity of its injuries. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And Nye County School District bus number 8 was involved in a minor accident today at approximately 10.50 this morning. Emergency services were called immediately and district officials arrived on scene. All students and the driver are uninjured. Students were transferred to a different bus to be taken home per their usual route. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is investigating. We'll have an update on the tractor supply store after the break. <music> 